1943 P. Jefferson Nickel with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by NGC. FS 103 shows minor die doubling throughout the Obverse Border Legends. NGC has attributed only six non-full steps examples of this variety, the finest being two coins in MS 67. One of those top grade pieces is the current MS 67 Plus offering. Brilliant, softly frosted mint luster yields exceptionally clean surfaces. The steps of Monticello are slightly incomplete, but the overall definition is excellent. It was sold for $1,980. Number 7. 1990 NOS Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR69 Red Ultra Cameo by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, there have been several proof issues in the past few decades that have accidentally omitted the S mint mark on a limited number of coins. The mistake is usually caught quickly and examples are consequently very scarce. Impressive deeply mirrored fields on this piece show spectacular cameo contrast against the frosted devices. A fully struck and pristine specimen that was sold for $4,080 on January 10, 2024. Number 6. Vividly Tone 1955 D. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 68 Full Bands by PCGS. This coin embodies all of the possible attributes of a Roosevelt dime in one coin, full strike, pristine surfaces, glistening luster, and incredibly vibrant multicolor toning. It was sold for $5,040. Number 5. 1985 P. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 67 plus full steps by PCGS. A modern date in high grade, essential for registry collectors. This plus designated superb gem is the sole finest full steps coin at PCGS. Some dye striations are seen in the fields, while the satiny luster is pristine overall, showing greenish gold, champagne, and lilac blue hues. The central steps are razor sharp. It ended up selling for $9,066. Number 4. 1921 D. Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 63 by PCGS. The 1921 D. boasts the lowest mintage in the Walking Liberty Half Dollar series, 208,000 coins, and it is one of the scarcest dates in high grade. Only the 1921 S and the 1919 D and S issues are scarcer at the gem level. This select coin occupies a more accessible grade for many collectors, and it displays uncommonly strong quality for the grade. This specimen was sold for $14,400. Number 3. 1968 No S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR69 Cameo by PCGS. Perhaps because the special mint sets had been struck at the San Francisco Mint in the interim, it was decided to strike the new proofs at that location in 1968. Accordingly, all proofs were supposed to have an S mint mark. Dies for coinage were produced in Philadelphia and shipped to the branch mints for use in production. The S mint mark was inadvertently left off one of the dies intended for use on proof dimes and a small number of dimes were struck and released with the sets before the mistake was noticed. The June 28, 1968 edition of Coin World announced the discovery of the no S proofs. Probably around two dozen examples are known to numismatists today and the issue is avidly sought by series specialists and error collectors alike. This spectacular PR69 specimen exhibits fully struck design elements and virtually flawless surfaces, with a few delicate specks of amber alloy toning. It was sold for $40,800 on January 11, 2024. Number 2. 1924 S. Buffalo Nickel. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. The 1924S is among a number of San Francisco issues in the Buffalo Nickel series that are conditionally rare in superb gem condition. The Philadelphia issue of this date is plentiful in MS66, but the San Francisco coin is so infrequently encountered that it stands among the stoppers in the series in high grade. Even MS65 coins are scarce. This superb gem fetched a sum of $45,600 on January 11, 2024. Number 1. 1969 S. Double Die Obverse Cent. Graded in Mint State 63 Red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, 
The fifth edition of Bill Fibas and J.T. Stanton's popular Cherry Pickers Guide records the rarity of this variety as URS 6, which means that between 17 and 32 examples are believed to exist. That is an extremely small number of coins for a collecting specialty as popular as Lincoln cents. This is a very rare, strong double die variety. This beautiful scent has fully brilliant orange luster with satiny, slightly reflective surfaces and bold design features. A few tiny surface marks and a minor obverse spot are all that prevent a higher numerical grade. The date, liberty, and in God we trust are all boldly doubled, sharply enough that the doubling can be seen without a magnifying glass. This highly elusive collector's item ended up selling for $66,000. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to smash thumbs up button. God's willing, see you in the next episode.